Inclusive education for teachers involves the ability to include all children in the day-to-day -day teaching and learning that takes place and cater for specific needs any children may have by providing the appropriate provisions. It is essential that educators work to overcome any barriers that may prevent or inhibit successful learning in the classroom. Following this, it is essential that children are provided with a learning environment in which they are motivated and valued. This allows them to work proficiently and reach their full potential. Summarising this quite clearly, the National Curriculum states that Lessons should be planned to ensure that there are no barriers to every pupil achieving. An increasing frame of data from Bechter conveys that the impact of ICT on intermediate learning outcomes such as motivation, engagement and independence in learning can be significant. The Bechter report conveys that inclusion involves the efforts made to include students with a range of physical, sensory, communication or cognitive disabilities in both learning and wider social opportunities. ICT can be vital for these students. The use of digital technology and inclusion is because an increasingly effective way to encourage positive and successful learning from all pupils in the primary classroom. Through the use of computer-orientated tasks, children are able to benefit from learning that is different to what they encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. This idea of change is an extremely beneficial way of engaging all the children, particularly for those with short attention spans or those with behaviour issues. Future labs discuss ways in which digital technology can contribute to fostering inclusion in the primary education. They suggest that digital tools such as mobile technology Technologies, games and the internet provide an opportunity for learners to connect, communicate and collaborate. Drawing from my own experience, I found the use of iPads being a great way to engage disruptive children. When on placement, my class teacher would give disruptive children free time on the iPad as a reward if they successfully met their lesson's learning objectives. This worked very well. As well as this, I found the use of ICT for research purposes was an effective way of encouraging collaborative learning, thus promoting inclusion. This is because children have the opportunity to work together in groups or pairs and learn from one another in a context different to usual. I found that giving children the opportunity to explore for themselves promoted creativity and positive learning outcomes. Walker and Logan found that ICT has also been shown to be effective in re-engaging disaffected young people, particularly when used to enrich creativity. This is because it works to develop learners' motivation as they learn to take responsibility for their own learning. It has also helped them build relationships with others. In terms of how digital technology can be used to facilitate inclusive learning, it is argued that online learning can also be of benefit to learners who do not do as well in a formal learning environment. As well as this, technologies with strong visual elements such as digital vid video, drama-orientated software and multimedia presentations can be effective ways of engaging learners. Similarly, mobile technologies have been revealed to be effective in supporting learning for disaffected and hard-to-reach pupils, where attending school is problematic for personal or family cultural reasons. Overall, the use of ICT in responding to special educational needs opens new opportunities for participation and inclusion in the culture, curricula and communities of schools. Through the use of digital technology, it is becoming easier to learn in the workplace, home and in an environment in the classroom. This is due to the fact that we have access to the internet and digital resources in a range of different social and cultural environments. Digital inclusion is not therefore merely a matter of guaranteeing that all individuals make use of ICT throughout their daily learning, but a case of certifying that all children are able to make what could be referred to as smart use of ICT. In other words, using ICT effectively and appropriately. Moreover, digital inclusion in part involves providing equality of opportunity opportunities so that all members of society can benefit from the affordances that technologies offer.